Good day. In this video, we're going to look at analytical geometry. We're going to show you that if I give you the inclination of a line and one point on that given line, you can determine the equation of that straight line using the formula y equals to mx plus c. The first question says the inclination is 120 degrees and the point on the line is p4 and 0. The first thing I do is I write down the two formulas that I need, y equals to mx plus c and the formula m equals to tan theta. I substitute the 120 degrees inclination they give me into tan and I work out m. I take the calculator, I push tan 120. On the calculator I'll get minus square root of 3. We do not round it off. That we can now substitute back into our equation in the place of m. Then our equation will look like this. Then we take this p, 4 and 0 they gave us and we substitute that in here now. The 4 goes in the place of the x and the 0 in the place of the y and we get this equation. Now we can solve for c by moving this to this side. So c equals 4 square root 3 and now we can substitute that back into c there. Then our final answer is y equals to minus square root of 3x plus 4 square root 3. Please stop the video and see what we did. The next one, they give me the inclination is 45 degrees and the point on the line is 2 and 2. We use the formula y equals to mx plus c. Then we write m equals to tan 45, push it into the calculator, and we get the value m is 1, so I can substitute that in there. So now we have a piece of our formula already. Now we take the coordinate 2 and 2 that they gave us, put the 2 in the place of the y and the 2 in the place of the x, I did it over here, and we solve for c. Then we get c equals 0. Then we get y equals to x plus 0, or just y equals to x. That is the equation of the line with the inclination of 45 and going through the point 2 and 2. Again, stop the video and try and see exactly what happened. For the next two, you must please keep your wits about you. They told us the inclination is 0 degrees and the point on the line is 5 and 3. We know the formula is y equals to mx plus c. We know the formula is m equals to tan. We put the nor degrees in there and the calculator will give us the answer naught. Then you get y equals to naught x plus c. Then you get the answer y equals to c. That means this sum's answer has to be y equals to 3 because it has to go through the point 5 and 3. So it has to be y equals to 3. It says y equals to something. If a line is parallel to the x-axis, the inclination is 0 degrees. Please stop the video and try and get your head around this. The last one they tell us the inclination is 90 degrees and the point is 5 and 3 again. Formula is y equals to mx plus c. I plug the 90 degrees into the tan 90 degrees. Then on the calculator it will give me an error. That means it's undefined. That means y equals to, and this can't be. That means it can't be y equal to something because there's a mistake over there already. So this one's answer will be x equal to 5y. It is a straight line going through the point 5 and 3. But it's not, it doesn't have an inclination of naught, so now it is perpendicular to the x-axis. And that means it, that'll be the answer. We'll know that if a line is parallel to the y-axis or perpendicular to the x-axis, the, the inclination is 90 degrees and the gradient is undefined. So it has to be x equals to 5. Please stop the video and try and get your head around this. Comparing this to, I always remind myself, tan 0 on the calculator gives me an answer, so it has to be y equals to something. This one gives me an error on my calculator, that means I can't have y equals to something, so it has to be something else. Then I know to go perpendicular, y equals to 3, x equals to 5. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked this video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into any school mathematical problem that you can't solve, you can take a clear photo of it and WhatsApp it to this number, then we will try and solve it for you and send back an answer as soon as possible for free.